Big news, everyone. SpaceX has just announced major updates for Flight 8, including critical upgrades to address the issues encountered during Flight 7. So what exactly happened in Flight 7, and how has SpaceX responded? Plus, we've got a rare update on the U.S. Space Force's X-37B space plane. Let's dive into all of it on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Flight 8 is just around the corner, and preparations for the launch are accelerating. In the latest update, B-15 left Mega Bay on its transport stand, which had arrived earlier, and headed to the launch site for integration testing. However, it did not have the hot staging ring installed on top, as this component has undergone some unexpected movements. It is likely that SpaceX will install the hot staging ring at the launch site before the flight. Meanwhile, S-34 is expected to make similar moves in the next few days as it continues its final preparations. Beyond hardware progress, other key elements of the mission are gradually being confirmed. As usual, we await official updates from SpaceX regarding the specifics of the flight, and now the company has provided two major updates. The first update confirms the launch schedule and mission details for Flight 8. As previously revealed by Elon Elon Musk, the launch remains scheduled for the 28th of February. Interestingly, road closures for February 26th and the 27th have been revoked, further solidifying the likelihood of a February 28th launch. The planned liftoff time is 5.30 p.m. Central, a schedule that will provide clear visibility of both landing attempts. SpaceX has also announced that the webcast will begin 40 minutes before launch, ensuring fans and space enthusiasts can follow every moment of the mission. The second update, perhaps the most anticipated, addresses the failures of Flight 7, or S-33, in particular, and details the upgrades SpaceX has made to prevent similar issues in future missions. Musk himself called this a Starship Technique update, emphasizing SpaceX's commitment to rapid iteration and improvement. At the start of this technical update, SpaceX reaffirmed its ambitious goals for Flight 7, acknowledging the setbacks while stressing that the lessons learned will be directly applied to future Starship vehicles. The company may made it clear that these failures are not setbacks, but rather stepping stones toward achieving full and rapid reusability. SpaceX then provided a breakdown of the issues encountered during Flight 7 regarding the Super Heavy Booster, which was B-14 at the time, SpaceX noted that one of its center ring engines failed to ignite properly during the boost back burn. The cause of this failure was identified as a low power condition in the igniter system. Although the engine did eventually ignite successfully during the landing burn, SpaceX is proactively addressing this issue. Future Raptors will feature a pre-planned igniter upgrade to mitigate similar problems in upcoming flights. However, the most significant challenges of Flight 7 occurred with the upper stage, Ship 33. About two minutes into the flight, a flash was observed near the aft section close to the Raptor vacuum engines. This part of the ship, known as the attic area, is an unpressurized region between the bottom of the liquid oxygen tank and the aft heat shield. Soon after, another flash was detected, followed by a sustained fire in the attic area. This fire damaged critical components and led to the shutdown of multiple engines. As seen during the flight, the loss of engine function resulted in the complete loss of communication with the vehicle. SpaceX confirmed that the disconnect occurred before the flight termination system was activated, suggesting that the safety system may have been triggered autonomously to bring the flight to an end. Through further analysis, SpaceX determined that the root cause of the problem was an unexpected harmonic response. The stress experienced during flight was several times stronger than what had been observed during ground testing. This amplified stress ultimately led to hardware failure in the propulsion system, causing propellant leaks. Unfortunately, the amount of leaked propellant exceeded the attic's venting capacity, leading to the sustained fires that ultimately doomed the ship. Despite the explosion, SpaceX responded swiftly by executing its debris recovery and safety procedures developed in collaboration with the FAA and air traffic control. 
or ATC for short. The company confirmed that all debris landed within the pre-planned debris response area, with no hazardous materials detected and no significant environmental impact reported. In the Turks and Caicos region, where debris was widely reported, SpaceX has been actively working with local governments and the United Kingdom on recovery and cleanup efforts. Meanwhile, the FAA, alongside NASA, the Space Force, and the National Transport Safety Board, continues to oversee the mishap investigation. SpaceX is now working working toward closing the investigation and obtaining approval for Flight 8's launch. In response to these challenges, SpaceX has implemented several hardware upgrades to prevent similar issues from occurring in future flights. One of the key improvements was demonstrated during the recent 60-second static fire test of Ship 34. This test allowed SpaceX to analyze multiple thrust levels and evaluate three different hardware configurations in the Raptor vacuum engine feed lines. By doing so, engineers were able to recreate and better understand the harmonic response issue seen in Flight 7. Additionally, SpaceX has adjusted the fuel feed line configurations for the Raptor vacuum engine's modified propellant temperature settings and established a new operating thrust target for the next mission. To address the attic fire issue, SpaceX has introduced additional venting in the area, as Musk previously suggested. A new purge system utilizing nitrous oxide has also been added to improve resistance to potential propellant leaks. Perhaps most significantly, SpaceX has hinted at integrating Raptor 3 engines on future Starship iterations. This next-generation Raptor design significantly reduces the attic volume, eliminating many of the potential leak points that contributed to the failure of Flight 7. Ultimately, Flight 7 played a crucial role in Starship's ongoing development. Testing at this scale is the fastest way to identify weaknesses and make necessary improvements. SpaceX remains committed to its ambitious vision, continuously refining Starship to achieve full and rapid reusability. Now, with Flight 8 only days away, all eyes are on SpaceX as they prepare for another major test. The question remains, will these upgrades lead to a flawless flight? Do you think SpaceX's improvements will make Flight 8 a success? If you're optimistic, respond with 8 in the comments section down below. That's the number 8, or you can spell it out if you want. Doesn't matter to me, as long as you let me know what you think. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with SpaceX's incredible journey toward revolutionizing spaceflight. Upgrades are ready, now it's time to focus on the flight process. Starting with the first major update, SpaceX has confirmed that Flight 8 will target several key objectives that were left incomplete in Flight 7. These include deploying payloads, conducting re-entry tests in preparation for future catching attempts, and refining previous achievements such as launch, re-entry, catching super heavy, and relighting the engine in space. SpaceX also reiterated the upgrades introduced in Starship version 2 or V2, including changes to the flap design and positioning, an improved heat shield system, increased fuel capacity, and enhancements to the avionics system. The company emphasized that these upgrades are not just crucial for Flight 8, but also pave the way for more advanced missions in the future, such as in-orbit refueling and returning the ship to the launch site. One of the most significant changes for this flight is the reduction in simulated satellite payloads from 10 down to 4. This adjustment helps ease the pressure of the first deployment attempt, while maintaining the same size and operational procedures for the payloads. Flight 8 will also place heavy emphasis on testing components for future catching attempts. SpaceX has intentionally removed a large number of tiles to stress test vulnerable areas of the vehicle. Metallic tiles alongside active cooling systems will be installed for evaluation. Additionally, non-structural versions of the catching accessories will undergo initial testing. Another key improvement involves modifications to the heat shield with a section of the tile line receiving a smoothed and tapered edge to address hot spots identified during Flight 6's re-entry. The re-entry sequence has been specifically designed to push the ship's landing support systems, particularly the rear flaps, to their limits. Radar sensors will also be re-evaluated, both during launch and landing, to improve measurement accuracy between the vehicle and Mechazilla's catching arms. On the Super Heavy side, the most notable upgrades focus on avionics, featuring a more powerful flight computer, improved power and network distribution, and integrated smart batteries. When it comes to landing, SpaceX is still prioritizing safety. The booster catch attempt will only be conducted if all systems are performing optimally. If any issues arise, SpaceX will opt for a controlled soft landing in the ocean instead. 
Wrapping up the update, SpaceX also issued warnings regarding noise levels and reaffirmed the critical importance of this test. The company provided a detailed timeline outlining each phase of the mission, which remains largely unchanged from Flight 7. With Flight 8 just around the corner, anticipation is reaching new heights. The excitement is guaranteed, everyone. So, let's go. And now for our final bit of our update today, let's dive into the latest news on the X-37B space plane. In a rare public disclosure, the U.S. Space Force has released an image of the X-37B in orbit. The image made public on February 20th was captured by a camera aboard the space plane while it was flying high above the African continent. The stunning shot features a breathtaking view of Earth against the vast blackness of space, with portions of the X-37B's solar panels and payload bay visible in the frame. According to the officials, the image was taken while the spacecraft was conducting experiments last year year. This revelation aligns with the Space Force's stated mission, which is to ensure the health and safety of the vehicle while carrying out its operations. However, beyond its official purpose, the release of this image is significant because it provides the public with a rare glimpse of the highly classified X-37B in action. After more than a year of covert operations, any insight into its mission is a valuable piece of information. What makes this particular mission even more intriguing is that, based on the image and available details, the X-37B appears to be operating farther from Earth than in previous flights. This aligns with expectations given that the space plane was launched aboard a Falcon Heavy rocket, a far more powerful vehicle than those used in past missions. Before this flight, the Space Force has indicated that the mission would involve testing new orbital regimes, advancing space domain awareness technologies, and studying the effects of radiation on various materials provided by NASA. One of the more notable experiments reportedly involves aerobraking, a technique that allows the spacecraft to adjust its orbit using minimal fuel by utilizing atmospheric drag. While the X-37B remains shrouded in secrecy, this latest update offers a rare window into its activities. Although we may not see frequent revelations from this classified mission, space enthusiasts will undoubtedly be watching closely for any further updates from the Space Force. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly in the latest details of SpaceX's progress. Thank you so much for tuning in, and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you as long as you keep looking up.